So that's five nil-nil draws in our last nine games, which is just pathetic, all right? Like, we're barely creating any chances. I think, I don't, I don't know if Martial's shot was registered off target or whatever in the, like, seventh minute where Winston Reid blocked it, but I don't think we had a shot on target properly for the first 60 minutes of the game, which is just ridiculous. Yeah, I'm happy Louis Van Hal sorted out the defence. He's finally got a solidified midfield, something we haven't had in about a decade, but... At the expense of attack, it's it's ridiculous. We created so many chances in the second half, but the thing is, there were snatches of chances. They weren't like full blown, apart from the odd bit of brilliance from Memphis or Martial. Memphis had a brilliant dribbling run when he was on. It, um, he did really well, but yeah, and he, he squared it for Martial, and it was inches wide. Memphis probably played his best Premier League game for us coming on because of the fact he was closing down players. He was getting back. He was tackling. He was showing the strengths of a £25 million pound signing, and he should, have, he should have had an assist, same as Martial should have when he, he was dribbling through, it's a nice 1-2 with Lingard, he passes it in, Fellaini miss kicks it, it's cleared off the line, that happened so many times, Winston Reid, got to give massive credit to him, he was by far man of the match, he made so many decisive clearances, stopped so many chances, so many interceptions, and yet, West Ham could have quite easily won this game as well, they hit the post twice, again Winston Reid with their best one from a corner, they also... Went through one on one, a fantastic save from David De Gea, denied them, and yeah, they just had chances that were the result of a counter attack, which has been the same all season. I'm sick of seeing two lines of four players, four or five players, literally structured so well so we can't penetrate because of our slow tempo. For the first 10 minutes, it looked as though we changed things, we were actually running forward, players were overlapping each other, it looked great. And then it just tailors away. Even Martial was uh, absent for about 30 minutes in the first half. And that was generally because he wasn't even getting the ball, to be honest. Like, no, no one was formulating any decent passes. Yeah, we've had 63% possession. But I guarantee most of that is in our own half or in the middle of the pitch. It's barely in the, th uh, in the third half of the pitch. And if it is, it's probably down the wings where we pass it back to the other wing and vice versa. There was a brilliant cross from Darmian later in the game and I heard the commentator say, why aren't United players getting on the end of it, uh, you know, on the last man? And that's because they're not used to players crossing it in first time. They're used to cutbacks and then they've got to adjust their runs. It's, it's not the forward player's fault at all. Darmian put a brilliant cross in across the face of goal. Any other team would have had a player there. But the reason we didn't is because we never do that. We never have first-time crosses, or we very rarely do. And that could have been a decisive thing. I just thought that was like, that highlighted exactly what's wrong. We, the players don't know when to run into the box because they never know when the cross is coming in. And we've crossed it too many times, and we didn't even target Fellini. What is the point of putting Fellini near on, up front, maybe as a cam or whatever, Right, get him in the box. What is the point in not crossing it to Fellaini instead of crossing it mid height? And it, it just makes no sense. The tactics deployed by Louis Van Hal recently have been nothing short of woeful. He had to use one substitute which to rectify one of his mistakes, which was to put Paddy McNair, who yes has played as right back, but he's primarily a centre back. He put him at right back and he had Varela, who yeah is uncapped, but he's a default right back and he had to change that at half time because McNair wasn't doing very well. Why didn't he have McNair as a centre back, have Daly Blind who's an accomplished left back at uh, left back, and then have Dormian who is fucking right back at right back instead of putting him at left back? It ugh, it beggars belief. I do back Louis Van Hal, but some of his decisions are just Ridiculous. Yes, I love the fact that we're, we're getting so many clean sheets, but at the expense of every ounce of attacking football we possess. Ah, this rant went on for too long. I haven't given enough credit to West Ham. They were utterly tremendous. Leicester, three points ahead in the league. You look at Man City, inconsistent. Manchester United, boring as fuck. Arsenal, just Arsenal. Leicester, they're showing passion, they're showing desire, they're showing fight. Fuck it, let them win the league. They deserve it at this point. No other team shows that much desire at the minute, and it's ridiculous. But um, just to add salt into the injury, three of our strikers that we've either sold or went on loan have all scored today. Javier Hernandez has had more goals this month than Manchester United had. Well, sorry, in November he had 11, Manchester United had 10. James Wilson, who's just been loaned to Brighton, scored today, and so did Will Keane, who... You might not know who he is, but he's one of our low-knees strikers. So, yeah, they all scored. 
And Manchester United for the sixth time in ten games, fifth in nine. Who the fuck gives a shit? Haven again. Needs to change against a key fixture in Wolfsburg that we have to win. And now we're without Schneiderlin as well. So maybe we will be forced to attack more, which might deliver some goals. But yeah, if we're, if we're in the Europa League this time next week, then oh, the season already feels as though it's over. And we're only, what, four points off the top or three points? For fuck's sake, man. I want to see a goal.